Hey guys, it's Jen and I'm here to share a layout with you using the Freckled Fawn July Kit, which is this awesome summery bright colored kit. And I have this photo of my daughter and my nephew in a little swimming pool in their backyard, in my um, sister-in-law's, or my sister's backyard. Um, and the colors of this kit I thought matched this photo perfectly. We've got the bright summery colors obviously, but there's also this orangey color and the blue that are found in uh, here, well, this is more of a red, but it's got an orange tone to it, um, especially in some of the stickers. And so I thought that this would be the perfect uh, kit to document this this photo in this day. Um, I'm also going to be using a few cut files from my shop. Uh, I have this one, which is kind of like a wonky triangle diamond shape. And I'm going to be placing that on top of this paper from... Uh, the Felicity Jane Summer Kit, and look at that, you guys. It's so pretty. I love, love, love the way that looks. I think my photo is going to look awesome on top of it. You can see that already there. Um, I'm also going to use this word magic. Uh, I'm going to have the, the title be Summer Magic, and this is from my uh, book I can't remember what it's called. Um, Book Love. I'll insert like a little thing here so that you can see. And I'll also link to everything that I'm using in the video description. But um, it's like a Book Love uh, cut file set that I have. It has books and lots of words related to books. And um, so you can check that out as well. But I'm going to use that for my title here. I'm just going to go ahead and put you on fast forward and you can watch me create this layout. I don't know why this little dish is here. I usually put my embellishments in this dish so maybe I'll just toss everything in there while I'm working um, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start by uh, cutting off the branding strip off of my pattern paper and I just can't get over how gorgeous that pattern paper looks behind the cut file. I love, 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 love it. I think that um, ombre papers look especially great behind cut files. And I love that it has the colors that are in this kit, but they're a little bit softer, so it allows all of the embellishments to pop against it. Uh, and you'll see that here. So I'm making my title now, and I want it to be Summer Magic. And I'm trying to decide how I want to place this. I really like the way that the G kind of comes in between uh, my nephew and my daughter's heads there. And so I'm going to move it down so it rests even lower between them. And I have the word summer just on a piece of wax paper so I can decide where I want to put it. And I'm gluing down the word magic just using some Scotch quick dry adhesive in a fine line bottle. I just kind of lifted it up and glued part of it down and then lifted the other side up and glued the rest. Uh, since it's so fine and detailed, that was the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to place my title, or the word summer down, and I am lifting up the word magic a little bit so that it overlaps some of those letters because I want them to rest along the top of the photo. And because they're transparent, you see that they lose a little bit of their brightness when you put them on the photo, but I think it looks okay still. So now I'm going to play with my embellishments and basically what I'm going to do is just I'm going to pull everything from the kit that I think kind of matches well or that, that kind of fits the, the layout and the story that I want to tell and then I'll kind of play with and arrange it as I go along. Uh, I really love this washi tape and I found three phrases that worked really well for this uh, and they just happened to be the same width as the photo pretty much. So I'm going to use those, but I decide before to, before I stick that down, I have to stick my background down. So I'm just going to glue that down real quick. And I just put mostly adhesive around the edges and then some spaces in between. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'll go ahead and glue down my photo. Now you can see I'm placing my photo a little bit to the right uh, on the layout. And that's so that my nephew, he's looking down uh, so that he has somewhere to look into. If I were to place it all the way to the left, it would look like he was just looking right off the page. And so I just want to make sure that he has some room to look down into something, <laughs> uh, which is just basically the layout. But it just looks more visually pleasing that way. So here you can see I'm arranging some of the chipboard pieces. I really like those word stickers. And I'm just going to go ahead and start gluing things down already. Uh, my favorite part of this month's kit are those uh, rubber words. And I'm going to use a few of those as well. I don't actually end up using the one that says family time right there, although I really like it. I think it could have worked. Uh, I'm also going to use these little plastic hearts in aqua. They come in aqua, yellow, and red, uh, but the aqua I thought was a nice pop here. And uh, I'm going to use that little banner at the top. And basically what I decide to do is embellish this vertically from top to bottom uh, above and below the photo. 
And I think that ends up working really well. And what I also try to do is just kind of nestle the embellishments in somewhere. So they look like they um, belong there. And you'll see me do that as I go along here. I'm looking through my other chipboard now to see if there's something else I might want to add. Uh, but there's not really. And I'm just going to play around now a little bit with some of the embellishments. I'm pulling out some red line tape because I find that's the best adhesive for those rubber shapes. And so I am using that. I'm using a yellow one down at the bottom and I'm going to use that blue one there at the top. I'll also use that red line tape for those hearts. And so I'm just cutting a little bit off with my Tim Holtz scissors because they are non-stick and uh, they work great for something like that and sticking that down. You can see at the bottom where that heart kind of nestles into those word stickers like I was mentioning, I like to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the banner at the top, but I decide that I want to put my journaling up there as well. So I decide to type that up on my typewriter and I'm just trimming that. I have this little guillotine trimmer that's from Swing Line that I keep on my desk and I like to use that for trimming my journaling strips. And so I'm gonna go ahead and place my journaling strips before I decide exactly where I want my embellishments to be because as I mentioned, I, I like to kind of nestle things in. So I like to bounce my journaling back and forth a little bit and then I'll have um, the embellishments scattered throughout the journaling. So I'm just kind of arranging it and moving it down a little bit so that they it's closer to the photo. And um, I'm trying to decide with that heart, it was right above the other heart, which I didn't like, but it felt like it fit nicely next to the word summer. And so I was having a real internal struggle with that. Uh, in the end, I decided that the star would be a nice dot to my eye. And I thought about moving over the word summer, but it was stuck down to the photo pretty well. So I'm not going to worry about it now. And I will fix that little gap between the word summer and the star in a minute here. So I'm using, again, my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive in my Fine Line Bottle to glue down my journaling strips and um, just going to arrange those back and forth using the red line tape to glue down the heart, which I did move to the right, and then I'll use it again for that rubber shape, and uh, I'll place that in the little space there, and I... I'm really liking the way that this is turning out. I'm looking up the date for my photo and I'm just going to stamp it uh, above the journaling. And I am I was gonna use black, but I decided to use red just to bring a pop of that in. So I'm just using a little uh, red ink pad that I have there and stamping that from Prima. And the last thing that I'm going to do to fill in those awkward gaps and spaces is I'm gonna use these white glitter uh, stickers the circles and I'm just going to kind of dot them around so I put three at the bottom I put five at the top and it kind of just fills in those spaces and finishes off the layout so that is going to be it for this one I love the summary colors I hope that you will try making a summary page like this and definitely check out the kit if you haven't already I'll leave links to all the products in the video description below and head over to the freckled fawn blog to learn more thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again very soon